Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And got a lot of very cool, uh, unique creations again to look at today. So the very first one here is the Emergency Shelter by Bear the Merc. And it is a pretty unique uh, shelter base. It's a uh, small one. Uh, this is what it would look like when you spawn it in the game. You'd have to kind of dig out the uh, a little bit of the underground area. I do have another uh, another one of these spawn that's above ground. So we can take a look on the interior, but this is kind of what it would look like in in gameplay here. And it's got a couple uh, defense uh, sensory guns here, retractable solar panel, a blinky light, and basically a hatch door to go down into it. So uh, let's go over to this one here. And this is one I've got uh, spawned up out of the ground so we can get a good look on the interior here. It also has Wi-Fi. You can kind of see it's kind of built in. And a lot of the parts and things like that are underneath uh, so you got a fuel tank, uh, ammo, uh, oxygen, all kinds of stuff down here. Looks like we got some kind of uh, machine over in the corner there too. I'll have to see what that that actually is there. But uh, here, let's go down in here and here I'm gonna uh, get out of God mode to see how this is gonna work here. Oh, we got a ladder <laughs> as I as I fall right down in here into here. So inside. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It does. Uh, I like the uh, the ladder uh, thing going on there. Here's our uh, ventilator. There we've got a fridge, food processor, small constructor. Uh, looks like our uh, main core is back over there. Uh, cargo box, uh, uh, another place to put some items in the uh, closet there, and then a full uh, bathroom here. So yeah, pretty pretty nice. Uh, keeps you uh, underground in an airtight environment. Uh, you got Wi-Fi. You got some defense. Uh, obviously. The AI is not going to be able to get to you here. Um, they could try to shoot at the stuff on the top there. Um, they might be successful with a big enough drone attack, but you should be safe underground here uh, regardless. And, oh, yeah, check this out. Uh, this would be kind of neat. If it was, if I had this spawn underground right now, you'd have, like, this uh, uh, way to tunnel into the uh, surrounding uh, ground. Uh, so you could literally uh, make a tunnel into here from somewhere else or do some mining underground or something like that which is that's a that's a cool feature too so very very neat uh nice innovative creation here definitely like that yeah that's, i bet you it's pretty inexpensive too let's take a look at some numbers here uh so unlock level five so yeah very uh very low level for this one uh two fuel tanks one oxygen tank in there obviously the two sentry guns 13 minute and one second build time and it requires practically nothing <laughs> well a fair amount of carbon substrate but other than that it's it's extremely inexpensive um this would be a few trees you could you chop down and process that and a little little uh rock dust i think in there too and this will get you this uh base a very limited amount of silicon copper and iron uh yeah very cool and it's got it's got the constructor in there this is just a nice uh quick startup thing and you know if you're um, when you when you uh, slap down a base on a lot of planets probably probably most planets you might get a drone attack and uh, this one would be you know largely underground and things like that and be able to kind of repel uh, ground forces and stuff like that with these uh, sentry guns for a little bit uh, maybe they'd be able to get them but I think you'd be safe in here actually uh, especially underground like that I don't think the AI would know what to do uh, about any of this so <laughs> uh, I think I think you'd be uh, in good shape there so uh, beyond that let me just take a look I don't think it has a storage controller in it um, but it does have uh, const uh, constructor in and out and they're both uh, like 8k boxes and then we got an ammo box in here at 14k so and then of course a freezer so yeah it doesn't deal with a lot of storage and things like that but again it's an emergency shelter uh, slop it down on a uh, in a hostile environment and have like a, a place to go and heal up and breathe some air and lose any uh, environmental uh, conditions things like that if you got the meds for it very very cool so again emergency shelter by bear the mark uh, very very cool creation there uh, looks like it would be quite practical and very inexpensive as well so the next creation here is uh, the ST40 Super Offspray by Procon Locter. And uh, really cool looking SV here. Definitely like that. Cool looking thruster pods there. I like the, uh, the color 
changes in there. Sorry about the uh, the choppy frame rate. I, I've uh, I've really I, I've given up. I really can't do anything about it. It's um, unless I uh, just uh, if I turn off shadows uh, completely, I can get a little bit uh, smoother uh, FPS. But uh, other than that, um, nothing seems to help very much with this uh, rotating around creations. I apologize for that. Yeah, this is uh this is very cool. I like the uh the design here. It looks like it is a fairly big SV. Uh looks like it's gonna have a fair amount of interior on it as well. Definitely like the shaping here. That's a really cool looking uh cockpit area and uh, together with the wings and obviously with an off spray that's a uh kind of a, a VTOL type of uh aircraft helicopter combination sort of. Uh so these would actually uh if these were actually big propeller blades, they would actually rotate upward when it was landing so it could uh, vertically land and things like that. Um, obviously, it's Imperium, so uh, it works differently, but uh, the, the idea is definitely there, and it, it certainly has the uh, the shaping for that. Pretty big tail section on this as well. That yeah, definitely looks very, very cool there. we got here? It looks like we've got... Oh, I thought that was a uh, access door. No, we do have one of those up here, though. Ah, awesome, too. So it's got a drone hatch in there. Uh, that's a. This just a nice feature. I, I, I typically call them a drone hatch, but it's a utility hatch. It's a quick way into the cockpit area from outside of the ship. It also, if you're inside the ship, it's a nice way to deploy a drone outside. Say you're in an environment that's uh, super nasty outside and you want to go uh, grab some loot or something like that with the drone, you can do that and stay inside the SV and be nice and safe and not have to deal with the elements or anything like that. Um, so it's an awesome idea on uh, most any uh, craft that would be out exploring or mining or just about anything. Um, combat oriented, things like that. Let's take a look at this bottom side over here. So we got a, uh, that's, oh, that's a cool looking uh, hat store there. I like the uh, double setup there with the two different angled uh, ramps in there. And that forms a very nice... Uh, Kind of angled uh, force field there too, so that actually looks pretty appropriate. Actually, I definitely like that. So I guess we ought to just take a walk inside here. Um, I will adjust the lighting here, but uh, I don't know. Let's see what that does there, and I'll get out of God mode here too. So inside, yeah, this is cool. Kind of cool. You got um, an actual, I mean, for small vehicles, uh, maybe an SV Salvager or some other small uh, type of uh, vehicle, you can actually bring it with you back in here and uh, load it up in the back, which is really, really cool. Again, with the nice uh, retractable doors there, it keeps a nice curve, curve look and uh, works pretty good, too. Considering, I mean, this is an SV, obviously, so it is uh, certainly a lot smaller in here than a CV would be but it can fit uh, small uh, small crafts in here which is really really cool uh, so looking up at the uh, the hangar up in here we've got a lot of a lot of parts and things going on as soon as we walk in we got a warp drive and taxi tank a whole lot of shield parts uh, some CPU blocks our main core generators uh, looks like four uh, oh, it's a little bit a little bit different on both sides there we got a uh, one two three four Four big generators. I guess it's it's the same. Nice looking uh, interior deco over here as well. Like the uh, the block work and textures uh, along the hangar. We've got a storage controller right over on the side. And as we go up here, we get into uh, looks like a bunch of utility uh, functions here. I love the LCD over the box here. That's kind of like a medical box. It looks like. We got a ventilator. Our armor. Uh, oh, this is a nice combo here. Putting these two like half block uh, parts together that actually works very very well so we got a armor locker and a trauma station there food processor a couple fridges a couple passenger seats like the table in between there that's a neat uh, effect there with the uh, the deco LCD or the uh, screen display screen above the table there I definitely like that too and then our very cool cockpit area here yeah, nice looking uh, seat there. We got stuff under the seat too. Look at that. We got a, uh, a ventilator and uh, another storage controller of, of one origin or another. And a lot of very cool LCDs up here. And our named LCD. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah, looks like a very nice SV here. 
And yeah, this is, uh, together with the hangar area, very easy to navigate on the interior, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. All the lights are on sensors and things like that as well. Yeah, nice. It looks uh, quite practical here. Uh, something I really didn't study too much, though, is its uh, weaponry and things like that. Let's just take a let me get the lights back on here. And just want to see what it had going on for uh, combat uh, stuff. So we got, it looks like a set of four miniguns over there. Got some uh, some minigun turrets as well, or Gatling guns. I keep on calling these miniguns, but they're Gatling guns. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of set up for more or less uh, drone defense. I wouldn't say it's uh, like an assault craft, at least how it's uh, set up currently. Doesn't mean it can't be, though. But, uh, yeah, so you got uh, upper defense, lower defense, and some front uh, front uh, fixed weapons. Take out drones and things like that. And then move in uh, probably a utility vessel to uh, do some mining or salvaging or something like that. Could be a lot of different things. Very nice, very nice. Well, let's look at some numbers here. So, start with, we're unlock level 20, size class 2. Uh, it does 144, 31 strafing, 145 lift, 59 reverse, 30 down. Got 16 fuel tanks in here, uh, 6 oxygen tanks, so this can go quite a long ways with a uh, fill-up. Uh, we do have long-range radar in there as well. We got 4 Gatling uh, cannons and 3 retractable minigun turrets. Uh, makes sense, I think we've seen all those on the outside. Five hour and 23 minute build time. Uh, uses a little bit of stuff, but uh, not much. Very, very light on its uh, rares and things like that. A uh, smidgen of aluminum powder. Not sure what, what that is used for. Could be uh, one of the uh, machines in there or even maybe the uh, the radar. Long range radar is an awesome option too. So it's a great like scout vehicle as well. Uh, fly around on a planet surface or up in space and uh, check out, you know, look for for asteroids to mine later or uh, bring in a, a vehicle to do some uh, mining on the surface could be a HV miner as well so very nice there and let's see here CPU wise um, you know I didn't even look at the CPU on the last creation I'm sure it's very very low though uh, on the uh, the cost of it and things like that it could not be anything more than a basic uh, or your your main core basically so this one is uh, tailored right around uh, Reforged Eden 60,000 or Core 9 setup here, and it uh, uses as much as it, it pretty much can, um, which is really cool. So it's, it's very balanced for a Core 9 uh, setup. Um, obviously, too, with weaponry, oh, we were talking about that a little bit earlier, uh, there are some more uh, turret locations already kind of like imprinted on the hall over here in various places and there's probably some other places you could stick some turrets if you, if you really wanted to as well so at least uh two turret uh additional turret locations up on the top side um and again i think i think uh there's ways you could certainly get some more turrets on here for uh defense and things like that as well uh but i don't really think this was really set up to be a uh a big time like combat oriented uh like poi takedown sv um at least the way it's set up but then again you know the great thing about imperium you can uh kind of transform anything into anything else you kind of want it to be so uh really cool that way as well last thing i just want to take a look at real quick is the hull material okay so it does look like we are carbon so it's going to be pretty lightweight it did have very good uh flight performance so um and a lot of lift power as well Speaking of storage on here, okay, so we got a, oh, wow, yeah, no joke on the on the storage here. We got a cargo area at 64K. That's that's a lot for SV. It really is. Um, 64K, that's a big cargo assembly. In fact, I bet you a lot of the blocks on this creation are actually cargo extensions uh, due to that much cargo on it. And we also have the items, uh, armor and boosters, medical weapons and ammo and we got an ammo box at 8k as well or ammo uh, controller at 8k so yeah 64k storage on here very very cool and it, it really it really does have the uh, flight specs to uh, deal with that as well uh, especially on the lift the lift was uh had a lot of lift thrust on here which is going to be needed to move all that weight around yeah you can see the big old lift lift thrusters in there uh, quite a bit of forward thrust too. So forward and lift. That's your that's your two biggest ones if you're going to move a lot of cargo. 
Um, strafing, you know, it's not not super important. You got to have at least one thruster for strafing, but you can still get around with just a lot of uh, lift and forward thrust with uh, the cargo. So yeah, very cool. Again, this is the ST40 Super Osprey by Procon Loter. Very very nice. So the next creation here, I kind of uh, kind of went over it. I had it spawned way over here for some odd reason. This is the Furnace Satellite reforged Eden by Ente, and yeah, this is cool. So this is uh, obviously a space station um, or satellite. A uh, huge amount of solar panels on here uh, facing all one direction. I love how they're uh, tilted in on the tops like that. That looks really, really cool. The framework on the insides. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of detail and deco uh, parts and things like that go down here to dress this up as well. But ultimately speaking, it's a big solar array to power, I would imagine, some furnaces. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh wow! Using the uh, the particle emitters or the uh, those other pieces here, to uh, that looks really cool. That looks really cool. And obviously, here's our furnaces, um, and we also have uh, solar capacitors in here, which make a lot of sense. This is a base. Uh, our generators are mounted in these cool generator-looking uh, enclosures. And uh, yeah, but it's really about uh, doing furnace uh, or you know using some big-time furnaces here. So it's got four of them installed, uh, some really cool effects. Um, I don't know, I might have to uh, report this to like the EPA or something. The uh, the pollution looks like it's a little extreme over here. This is, uh, wouldn't want to be, yeah, you definitely want a mascot over in this area. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyway, okay, so it looks like for interior space and things like that, uh, there's not really much. Um, again, this is a uh, utility creation, though, to do uh, to run uh, four furnaces uh, off solar energy. It looks like uh, I might have some other fuel in here too. We'll check out some specs here. So yeah, get into this little uh, outcove over here. It looks like we got, got a switch for the furnace main control, and uh, that's just, yeah, that's about it in there. <laughs> Very simple, uh, right to the point couple storage controllers over here. It looks like they're labeled as both 640Ks. Uh, and it's basically our furnace input and furnace output. Makes a lot of sense right there, too. And our CPU blocks and our main core. Looks like we got uh, some form of fuel tank in there as well. Or that could be oxygen, I suppose. I think it's fuel, though. And it looks like uh, this is actually counts as a box as well. Yeah, right to the point. Yeah, really cool looking... Uh, uh, it's like spawnable uh, furnace um, base here, uh, solar operated, so you don't have to really concern yourself that much about fueling it up or anything like that. Let's look at some some numbers here. So uh, unlock level 15, size class one, uh, two fuel tanks, one oxygen tank. So it does have like backup power assist as well. I was wondering if it did have that. Uh, six generators in here. Uh, we'll have to see what those are. Those those might be counted as solar capacitors. Uh, two hour and 45 minute uh, build time uh, and not using anything too uh, complex at all but some pretty basic stuff for the most part not bad at all um, and that's that's four furnaces that's a uh, quite a lot of um, man you can uh, really process a lot of ore quickly this way um, and not have to pay for a lot of fuel either which is really cool CPU wise, uh, it is running some. Uh, I'll check the CPU uh, blocks here. Let's look at uh, devices and our core systems. It looks like we're basically running one basic and one improved CPU core to hit that that number. So that's uh, quite inexpensive as well. Obviously, a huge amount of solar panels on here. Looks like 28 in total. Four solar capacitors. Um, here, I'm gonna just uh, collapse this a second here. I just wanted to see if it. And eh, maybe it does. Oh, generator two. Let's see what's in here. So it does have two generators in there, which is you know it's a good idea if the um, the batteries aren't charged and things like that, and you want to get uh, processing ore right away. It is nice to have an alternative form of power in there besides uh, completely reliant on solar energy. However, you know once uh, things get charged up a little bit, you could probably you know run uh, uh, large loads of uh, ore through the uh, furnaces and uh, Pretty much operate that on almost zero fuel costs which is really really cool so yeah very nice very nice creation here uh 
Obviously storage, I think we've seen the storage already, but we'll just make sure there's nothing more. So yeah, we got our uh, two 640s, one uh, furnace in, one furnace out. It's all you really want on this. It's uh, very specific to the point on what, it, what it's supposed to be doing. And that is really cool. So yeah, again, this is the furnace satellite uh, reforged Eden by Ente. Very nice, nice uh, utility creation and looks very nice as well. Um, really cool assembly and, and details and uh, uh, looks like it's very functional, uh, very functionable. So awesome work there. All right, so the next creation here, we've got the uh, uh, PD-M4 uh, Skull or Skull Punisher by Mor Morthway, Morthway One um, or M O R T H uh, W Y One, and that is this creation right over here. And this is up on the spotlight right now. It looks like a pretty cool CV. Uh, kind of a uh, interesting design here. I kind of like how it's got kind of this big extension over here, or basically like a fairly large landing uh, area. Uh, I would definitely say you could park quite a few uh, uh, crafts on there. And then your uh, main cockpit is kind of down below here, or the bridge area. And uh, yeah, using uh, don't see this uh, texture get used very much, the, uh, the caution texture, but that actually works for this creation here. Got some other uh, unusual textures in here too, like this one here. That is definitely cool. And going along the sides, looks like we've got uh, we got a big solar array going on out on these uh, kind of nacelle uh, type of areas here. A lot of thrusters on the inside there, and it looks like our fuel tanks are being stored out in these areas as well. Keeps it out of the uh, the main ship there. So yeah, big solar array. And, oh, yeah, I run a big old uh, XL thruster on the back side of it there. So it should give it some pretty good uh, uh, thrust performance uh, forward. And quite a few on strafing. Uh, got some lift thrust in there as well. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, door uh, way in the ship on the bottom side over here. I got this a little bit off the ground right now so I can see the bottom side. Um, and I, I wasn't able to do this before, but I noticed that uh, a lot of these ships stopped crashing to the ground when I wasn't looking at them. Uh, so I can actually, I think, uh, lift some of these off the ground again. Before what I would, I would do this. I would uh, spawn these in, and by the time I, I looked at them again to show them in there, they would fall to the ground when I wasn't looking at them, or a little bit away from them. Even if the, uh, even if they were filled up with fuel and the thrusters were on, they'd still fall to the ground. So this one is not doing that. Either are the other ones. So I think whatever was going on with that has been resolved, which is really cool. So yeah, very nice, very nice. Anyway, let's uh, let's get aboard here. I'm gonna do the light thing here as well. Um, now I don't think this wants to manually open up for me. There might be a interior switch or something like that, but I think we can override that. And here, let me get right up here. I'll get out of God mode and let's adjust the lighting as well. Let's see how this is gonna work out. So yeah, very nice. So as soon as you get in. Looks like we've got a lot of utility function right in the general area here. Quite a bit of it, actually. We've got a clone chamber, armor repair, our, um, looks like a full med bay over here. A lot of passenger seats as well. Uh, storage controller up over there. A couple of them, actually. And uh, interesting, kind of a asymmetrical uh, setup in here, too. That's just really cool. So uh, let's go, uh, uh, yeah, of course, we've got to have our armor locker in O2 as well. Uh, and this goes outside. Okay, so this is another. I missed this. So it looks like there's ways in from either side as well. And this room over here has the teleporter, and uh, it looks like our CPU core blocks as well. Very cool. So yeah, uh, one thing with the teleporter, you can put this on a sensor, and it's really wise to do that. And you have the sensor just uh, shine right above this uh, this block area here. Um, so it only turns on when you walk into it. It will, will save the ship a lot of power uh, because uh, if it's not turned off, it'll just keep on using power even if the teleporter is not uh, teleporting anything. So uh, that's just uh, just something to note. But uh, yeah, very cool setup there. And then we get into this uh, bridge area here. 
this looks very nice uh, so you got a lot of uh, a lot of visibility here that's pretty interesting uh, it's got the extra block work kind of kind of in front but they're sort of lined up with the seams of the windows so it really does not obstruct your view very much at all and uh, yeah nice looking bridge there got a little bit of room as well if you wanted to dump in a couple passenger seats you probably could there and let's uh, head to the back area here so it looks like uh, right over here we get into a warp drive, which is great to have uh, visible access to that too. If it's not the long range or the 60 light year warp drive, you would need to manually basically touch it so you can upgrade it to that. So that is great that it's uh, got a nice access panel into it. And other than that, I think, unless I'm missing something, I think that is the entire interior of the ship. So it's it's really very much about in-game function on everything. It can heal up people uh uh, obviously, it's got some storage going on in here, too. I didn't necessarily see a production area uh, or farming area, but I think, unless there's another part of the ship, I almost think that there, there almost has to be. Let's look in here again. It does have the uh, that big flat area on the top, and I was kind of curious if there was a connecting elevator or something to it. Uh, but maybe maybe you just kind of go out uh, the side doors and then come back in. Let me, uh, I'm going to get back into God mode. And uh, I just wanted to see if there was any doorways going up to the top surface here or not. doesn't look like it. So uh, obviously you got a lot of room to park stuff there. But I think you would uh, end up uh, just going out one of the side doors. And, uh, you know, which is a really quick jaunt actually. Just right out one of these doors here. Kind of hidden away in there and uh, grab whatever vehicle you might have or vessel uh, parked up on the top there. And some defense. Uh, looks like uh, uh, it doesn't have any. Oh, hold on. Well, let's just look at some numbers here. Um, so to start with, unlock level 25, size class 2, 44, 17 strafing, 29 lift, 29 reverse, and 12 down. Uh, 10 fuel tanks, 5 oxygen tanks. 17 hour and 6 minute build time. Uses a little bit of uh, Estrium and Zacosium. Uh, hold on, I want to look at the main. It does have a uh, decent sized shield on here as well. 29,500 for shield power. Uh, no other uh, devices in there. Let's take a look at its storage. We've got an ammo controller at 320k. Harvest controller at 320k. Taxi tank and repair station. So ammo and harvest. Um, let me look at the device manager here a minute. I want to see. Uh, okay, so it's a core eight build. So uh, yeah, just four of the advanced CPU cores and not the fifth. Uh, eight generators. Try to see if it had any weaponry on here at all right now. It does have quite a lot of solar panels going on in here, or a few. Fuel tanks, equipment, cockpit. Yeah, I guess I don't. I'm not seeing any weapons on here. It does have an ammo box. Uh, here, let me sort this here a second. Uh, our warp drive. 14 uh, solar panels. It looks like. And let's. Uh, yeah, 14. Actually, quite a bit of solar uh, solar stuff going on there. It looks like it does have four legit advanced RCS in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, weaponry, though, but what's under... Uh, so, in defense, though, yeah, we do have a uh, couple large shield generators. Uh, yeah, that's got a lot of shielding in it. I imagine that's what the... Uh, that's where we came in at. We went back over here. I'm going to fly through the hall a little bit see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, look at all the shield parts and stuff going on there. Our main shield, uh, quite a few uh, extra shield parts as well and they're kind of all kind of tucked in behind that thruster over there uh so yeah that's that's what fills up all the space in here i thought the ship was bigger than what the interior was space uh kind of uh let it let it to be but uh yeah it is uh, all that space is being used for a lot of shielding and obviously it looks like you would just uh apply your own weaponry to it or salvaging items or uh miners or or different stuff like that it, it is set up with the uh the controllers for both ammo and harvest so uh, that would be, uh, you kind of do things how you want to. Um, put put uh, multi-turrets on here or in some weaponry. 
uh, at least for drone defense and stuff like that, and go out and you can do some mining with it or uh, outfit the ship any way you really want to use it. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so one last thing. I already looked at that. All right, but anyway, again, this is the uh, PDM-M4 uh, Skull Punisher by... Uh, I have such a hard time with this for some odd reason. Morthy, Morthway One. Uh, that's a that's a new author name. M O R T H W Y One. Very cool. Very cool creation there. So let's get over to the next creation here. This is a uh, pretty big one here. This is the uh, R C C Two. Uh, Ms. Nagy. M I Z N A G I class by Rune Channel or R O O N Channel is the author name. Um, and this uh, this looks really really cool. Definitely like a, uh, a carrier type of CV here. I like how the uh, the flight deck's all done with these uh, these grates here, so you can kind of see down into the hangar through the uh, the, the top of it. And we got like a control bridge up here. Really cool looking glasswork there. I like the uh, use of the round and transitional glass pieces there it kind of makes a neat looking uh display there and this is uh interesting how you can kind of see this whole bridge area kind of pop up from the hangar below and the hangar below uh looks like it is just kind of open air obviously i don't believe that is an airtight environment down there it couldn't be actually even with these grates here because i don't believe they're airtight um but that's that is just fine though because it looks like it has an interior space for all that in the central part of the ship yeah, a lot of cool block work here. Got some green thrusters. That's uh, that's yeah, it looks good with the uh, the color scheme on here. It really does. Got some red uh, texture lights going on in here as well. But I definitely like the uh, the framework design here, where you got all these uh, beams and uh, stuff kind of like connecting everything together. And obviously, it was meant to be like open space on the uh, the hangar on this one, which looks really cool. Really. Uh, neat space look to it uh where it's not all enclosed and and whatnot and yeah you can definitely tell here too in fact i want to i want to see it with the lights uh, a little differently here i love those reflections too but here let's get the let's get this a little bit darker in here i guess we're kind of touring the i suppose it's not really interior space here we're still kind of looking at the hull of the ship but yeah this is definitely a Pretty good size hangar here. I like the elevators going up to the uh, the top section of the ship here. And then we have our central uh, control tower um, that kind of goes all the way down into the hangar as well. And that looks like it would be an airtight environment. And then this back section over here kind of just kind of opens up as well. And a nice landing pad on the back. I guess we'll get the lights back on again. And yeah, look at this. Uh, I like all the other uh, railings and, and like walk paths around here too. Kind of has that industrial look going on with it, which is uh, again really really cool. Lots of detail with these uh, thruster pods and block work all all throughout the ship here. And yeah, it looks like we got a nice little uh, chill out place on the interior there. Obviously, you can walk in from the side doors there. And again, that bridge looks really really cool. Oh, I like this. Uh, detector arrangement here oh we got wi-fi on the other side that's uh that's a pretty cool way to do it you can kind of see exactly where they are and uh incorporate them into like a, a kind of a sort of legit looking antenna arrangement there you got some spotlights uh sh showing to the back of the ship here that's cool yeah this the, this looks really neat i, I definitely like it uh, also some uh defenses around uh the creation too Again, it looks like more of a carrier, so it's. Uh, I don't think you're going to be assaulting uh, POIs with the ship itself. Maybe what it's bringing with it, of course, but uh, it does look like it has a uh, drone defense around the ship as well. Yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. Nice uh, creative creation here. So I guess I'm going to uh, get down in here. I'll just light in again. We'll get up in this control tower area. Also, just a note here, it looks like we have more ways in from the, the lower side of the ship as well. Speaking of, I do have it off the ground. Oh, I like the uh, how the landing gear is set up here. You know what? You know what? I got to do this real quick. I just got to set it down. I want to see what it looks like with the landing gear. Uh, here it is. Yeah, let's uh, put 
two dead on the ground. For some reason, I feel like I'm crooked. I think I am crooked. Maybe I'm parking on another ship or something. Oh yeah. Well, you can see how that that would work. I don't know why it's um tilting to one side when I was doing that. Um, probably something with the game right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that that's really cool. Nice looking uh, landing pier, landing gear set up here too, where they're all kind of sideways, uh, but they go right along the uh, stretch of the hull, which would be nice uh, weight distribution and things like that. Uh, looks looks pretty legit there, I gotta say. All right, so back back to going out on the inside here. Let me uh, get out of God mode, adjust the lighting. You know, I'm a little crooked, but I don't think that should matter. This will pass right through to the other side. Oh, and we got a warp drive right over here. Looks like uh, we've got like uh, access. Oh, there's glass in front of me there. Okay, so we can see the uh, the warp drive to one side. Uh, looks like a location for a, uh, a full size shield right over there. We got a uh, small generator right behind there. Uh, interesting uh, compartments over there. But yeah, there is glass walls in front of me here. Maybe you have to remove the glass to get in there. I'm not seeing another. Uh, entry uh, spot but that is uh, pretty easy to do there uh, taking out the glass so let's get up to this level looks like we've got a couple O2 tanks and a gravity generator a ventilator behind that and we can go forward on this deck as well so we got our CPU core room and our main core and I set up there cool looking color scheme on the inside too kind of like the uh, the grays mixed with this uh, I don't know kind of kind of a limish color And we're gonna. Oh, this is kind of that's kind of a neat uh, setup there with the curvy coming up the elevator. And this is getting into the upper control tower, probably the, the lower floor of that. So we have a production area here, small constructor, uh, advanced constructor. Um, gotta have the cargo box. Got a bathroom right over on the side over here. And this is gonna go right up into the uh, the main bridge area. That's cool. I like the uh, the use of these railing pieces in here. Um, that kind of gives it. Uh, it really kind of goes well with the uh, the frame framework of the glass as well. Uh, kind of all the same thickness and color and things like that. Really uh, works out pretty good. A lot of uh, quite a few passenger seats in here as well. Quite a lot of them actually. It looks like two pilot seats and uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine passenger seats I believe in this this area. And uh, let me guess, it's going to go out to the, uh, the, out to the top of the control tower. I thought we're, for some reason, I thought we we're going to get to the flight deck here, but no, this is just kind of another access door, which is awesome. Again, a uh, quick way in and out of the, uh, this part of the ship. In case you got to uh, get in there quick to uh, take care of some business. And back over here, we've got, uh, our chill out place with the, Holy crap, that's a big plant. <laughs> that must be new. I have not seen that one before. That is a, it's a big one. That's cool. I like that. So yeah, uh, we got a, looks like a full medical bay in here, all color cord coded uh, medical devices. I wonder if that uh, actually lines up to the ailments of uh, the different color ailments. I wonder. That'd be kind of a nice way to do it because it's confusing to me. There's so many weird conditions and sometimes you got to get rid of or try to deal with one condition before you can address a different condition um, and things like that. And they, they have colors to them. And I'm, I'm really wondering if all these represent what kind of conditions color coded wise uh, that they would uh, uh, fix. Uh, but usually my, my technique is to touch on all of them. And if everything doesn't go away, I'll touch on them all again. <laughs> and then that, that will usually work. <laughs> Uh, so back over here we got an armor locker and our med bay as well and then we got ways out into the flight deck area over here uh, which is really really cool yeah this is neat this is a very very cool ship O2 two station yep I believe I believe what the LCD is saying right there <laughs> uh, yeah this is cool yeah it's, it's, it doesn't have like a lot to walk around in on the inside obviously you got a big hangar and flight deck and stuff like that but yeah the actual ship area itself is um, it, it really nice it's like the uh, variety of uh, 
textures and colors and things going on in here as well. It's, that, is, that is very cool. Let me get back into God mode here. And uh, let's take a look at some numbers. So, uh, oh wow, look at this. This is like a starter. Wow, unlock level 12. Size class 4. 21 4, 10 strafing, 23 lift, 14 reverse, 9, nine down. 7 fuel tanks, 3 oxygen tanks. Does have some weaponry on here. Uh, 5 of these sentry guns, uh, a couple cannon turrets, and a minigun turret, plus a, de a de detector. 7 hour build time, even. Not using any rares either so yeah you know i i wasn't really looking at this as like a starter vessel because of you know it's bigger it's more elaborate i just didn't really think it was necessarily a starter but it kind of is i mean price wise uh you know like a carrier starter ship um and uh you know it's not using any rares it unlocks at, at level 12 i definitely say it has all the qualifications of a starter vessel which is really cool CPU wise, oh wow, this is really light on CPU. So it's got basically your main core and one basic CPU core in here. And that helps explain why it's so inexpensive, really. Uh, it doesn't require, like, you know, any of the other types of uh, stuff in there. It does need some, you know, you're going to need all uh, Neo and Cobalt and Titanium for pretty much any CV. A little bit of Sathium in there, but yeah, this is, um, you know, with the unlock level and the cost here this is like a starter carrier ship and it just doesn't look like a starter because it's big you know but uh yeah, that that is that is really really cool um you know yeah unlike level 12 size class 4 yeah that's cool let's take a look at the storage so it looks like we have an ammo box at 14k uh cargo box okay that's just a 16k cargo box fridge doesn't look like it has oh wait carter no frame commercial control it doesn't look like it has any uh uh like storage controllers built into it or anything like that um so uh but then again you know the kind of ship it is you could bring in uh a lot of different kinds of creations for storage uh especially like cv small cv storage uh vehicles and things like that around here but uh yeah this this is really cool and again it's it's like starter specs um and that is something i did not expect on here which is really cool obviously some more uh places to add some turrets um of course you can get kind of creative and add a lot of uh especially sentry guns around but yeah it uh, looks like some more places for turrets as well yeah very cool and yeah cpu surprised the crap out of me too so that that is uh that is very interesting uh let's uh one last thing um I kind of neglect to do this often, but uh, I wanted to look at the P menu options here. So we have a constructor, uh, gravity generator. I was kind of curious. I seen those uh, the big spotlights up on the deck here, um, and I was kind of curious if there was a maybe there's a switch or something I missed, um, maybe in the bridge area. But uh, I was kind of curious what's going to turn these on and off. Uh, I was wondering if it was a P menu option. Did I I'm sure I didn't miss anything here? Oh yeah, I did right there uh, right on the bottom okay so you can turn those on and kind of <coughs> excuse me light up the uh, the flight deck area and walk it around the uh, central uh, central bridge uh, control tower area very cool so again this is the RCC2 Ms. Naga class by Rune Channel I probably uh, butchered the name again I'm good at that but uh, yeah very very cool ship definitely like this so, all right, the next creation here. This is uh, this looks pretty cool as well. Kind of reminds me of something um, did uh, did a while back, but this is very much different than that too. Uh, so this is the Rogue by Optimus Prime, um, and this looks like a kind of like a miner sort of or salvager. Uh, this is a I definitely believe a multi turret of I believe a retractable drill. Okay. So it is for mining, at least with that drill there. So yeah, this is a, a really cool looking uh, ship here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like all this uh, this block work and stuff going on on the sides. 
Oh yeah, that's neat. Oh, using these uh, these round like framing pieces to uh, do that. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like the color scheme on that as well. Uh, using uh, the the large drive thrusters on here, so it's gonna have a lot of uh, thrust power going on. And then in the very front here, looks like we uh, got a visible warp drive right behind the window here. Some other stuff down below it as well. Some cool uh, blinking lights. Oh, look at that formation of lights. That is different. That's cool. Uh, a couple spotlights on the bottom side there. And obviously we got a uh, like a control tower bridge in the back area. And then a big uh, top, uh, top bay hangar going down in the middle of the ship here. Uh, that's, that's really, really cool. Uh, let's see, is that, is that a real long range radar? Nope. <laughs> uh, so we get, we, uh, obviously a location to add a long range radar, but uh, it doesn't look like it has one in their stock. Um, those require like uh, some upgrade kits and other things like that. It would um, uh, make it more difficult to spawn it in, especially if you were uh, early game, didn't have that stuff like chilling out somewhere. So the bottom side looks like we've got quite a lot of uh, detail and things going on here as well. And the landing gears on the sides. Or sideways uh, facing landing gear. It looks like that would work out pretty good as well. And then this elevator that kind of drops down in the back area. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So here, I tell you what. Uh, let me uh, let me get up in here a little bit, and I will get out of God mode and adjust the lighting here. Actually, ah, interesting. So yeah, it's kind of got got kind of this. Uh, it kind of matches the outside, you know, with the uh, kind of reddish uh, tint in here, which is really cool. Interesting looking uh, interior. I like the uh, the dark uh, like tile floor in here. It kind of goes well with the uh, decor. Uh, we got a lot of utility functions as soon as we walk in here. Obviously, some uh, some doors to get in and out of the back there. Looks like they have ramps as well for probably some really small utility vessels and things like that. Um, and uh, of course O2 armor locker clone chamber looks like we've got a medical area over here uh, two of the pieces plus a shower got that big plant again uh, so that must be a, a new new popular plant <laughs> uh, so we got kind of got uh, more O2 in that over there um, another shower uh, maybe different medical pieces on each side yeah, I think so. We got that one and that one, and the other side probably has the alternatives. Yeah, it does. So it, it kind of completes the uh, the full medical bay there, plus the uh, the main piece. So yeah, get healed up back over here. Got some obviously some big thrusters there. So these are going uh, at their proximity to the hallway are going to generate a lot of heat right here, as you can see, uh, 977 degrees Celsius. Uh, one thing with these uh, thrusters, any thrusters. They do have to have like a full block away from uh, a player, otherwise you will uh, experience a lot of heat getting uh, close to them. I wish they would kind of seal off like like they are with the glass and stuff like that, but uh, they do not in the game. So just 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 a note to the uh, the author there. And we get into this uh, hangar section here. This is cool. So we got a gravity generator in here. Looks like quite a lot of cargo boxes, like the. Uh, that looks neat. I like how it's uh, like all up above like that. So you can kind of land in ships in here. And it does look like it has a built-in repair bay as well. A couple lights there. And uh, something I have learned with repair bays as of late, they are a lot less picky uh, versus what they used to be on your position of what you're trying to repair on top of it. Like uh, I literally uh, repaired a tank in my, uh, a couple days ago with a repair bay and literally had solar panels laid right next to the repair bay and was able to park the tank on top of the solar panels and it worked it detected the tank and it fixed it um so it used to be extremely picky at its position of where you uh try to repair something and it seems to uh be i heard it was i i heard that that the number was relaxed as well but i got to see it uh, firsthand so you know uh back in the day seeing these lights right next to the repair bay i'd think that this could uh, disrupt the repair operation but that's not the case. Um, that, that I believe that would work just fine the way it is, um, which is really cool. What is this? 
These are spotlights, right? That is... That's weird. Uh, well, kind of interesting. Oh, okay, so we got... Oh, that's... So this is like a self-enclosed spotlight to probably do a lighting effect on the bottom side. And it does cast some really neat shadows down there, too. Okay, so that's interesting. Huh. That is a... I've never seen spotlights used like that before. So that's, uh, that is that is pretty cool. So out in this uh, hangar area, it looks like we've got some more O2. A lot of O2 stations around. And then it looks like on the sides of the hangar here, we've got... A, uh, or at least on this side, we've got a uh, like an 18 grow plot farming section. Got a fridge and food processor built into there as well. Um, oh, I got out of God mode again. <laughs> uh, a bunch of cargo boxes and a constructor over here, and a small constructor as well on this side. And it looks like armor repair here. Uh, oh, that's interesting setup there, right next to the gravity generator. And that's, uh, yeah, some more boxes right there. I like this uh, little door in front of it. And it looks like, I think, the other side's doing the same thing. Uh, with uh, another uh, 18 grow plots. So that'd be uh, 36, 36 grow plots here. Let's head out this way here. Oh, and that's, uh, and that's our repair console. Makes a lot of sense right there. So, yeah, really set up to... Uh, uh, looks like do some uh, some mining with a uh, mining turret and uh, repair uh, other vessels. Uh, do some production. Uh, it does have quite a lot of sneaky uh, retractable turrets in here as well. Actually, okay, let me, uh, let me turn those on a second. I don't see any P menu options here, but I just want to see all the turrets. Let's get the lights back on as well. Yeah, really, really cool. Really cool. Uh, ship here definitely like that um a lot of detail going on in here too uh cool looking uh, red and gray uh styling on it um and it kind of does a lot of things really um obviously looks like it's going to be set up for some mining and some uh definitely a vehicle uh, or like sv repair uh things like that uh smaller cvs let's take a look at the storage and the specs here too so start uh, unlock level 25 size class 4 pretty fast uh, 152 forward 76 strafings uh, 42 lift 152 reverse 42 down 12 fuel tanks 8 oxygen tanks a decent amount of uh, uh, oh we got some offensive weapons on here too retractable plasma turrets flak well flak's more defense uh, missile turrets and lasers uh, plus some sentry guns, yeah, and the retractable drill turret. A nine hour and fifty five minute build time. Uh, it does have uh, some crew members on here. I didn't even, I maybe I missed them or weren't weren't looking for them. Uh, three crew members, thirty six grow plots. Yeah. Uh, does use some estrium and zec or est estrum and zecosium. CPU wise, it is uh, fairly light on CPU, really. Uh, so it's not a uh, it's not a core nine build. Uh, it's under that. In fact, uh, it's like a core eight again. So uh, yeah, four advanced uh, uh, CPU cores, two improved and one basic, plus your main core storage. Uh, let's see here. We've got harvest controller at 232k, uh, ammo controller at 252k. Uh, these are boxes, I do believe. Yeah, so basically your harvest and ammo. Uh, I don't see another controller setup in here, but a, a lot of uh, a lot of 16k storage boxes on here as well. So yeah, again, very very cool ship here. Uh, definitely like it. So this is the uh, the Rogue by Optimus Prime. Very very cool. Love the uh, the color scheme and whatnot. Um, and uh, overall uh, shape and look of it, very, very cool. Uh, so the last creation here today, this is a pretty unique one. This is the Guardian Knight POI by Guardian Dalla v Via 2 is the author name. Um, so, yeah, this is a very shapely looking uh, uh, creation here. I definitely like that, like, like the... Uh, 
Oh, look at all the all the individual pieces. We got like the shoulder blades and the arms. I like how the uh, the hands are done holding the sword here. Oh yeah, like uh, I would say like a big mech or something like that, but it's uh, more of a statue. Uh, and that is uh, really really cool. It's got a uh, kind of a base platform down here that kind of lights up. It's got some uh, little fire pits and stuff around there, and some lights to uh, light up the bottom side here. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, really really cool and creative. Uh, design here wow look at that that's cool it's big too it's uh, this is quite a uh, large uh, large statue here and kind of like uh yeah that's almost like your like spartacus kind of things or the roman empire type of helmet things or there's a i've seen that before i can't quite identify exactly where i've seen that look but uh, a few different places there I don't think it's necessarily for that. This looks like it's a high-tech uh, uh, armored like creation here, or well, armored suit of some some origin, which is really really cool. Yeah, I love the block work um, and the the colors and the way everything is done up here. The author really uh, knows the anatomy quite well of uh, doing uh, like characters like this, which is really really cool here. It's got it's it's not using a lot of different textures, but it's kind of like separating a lot of things with different colors. Uh, so you know, blue and yellow, and some of the some of the reds in there. And then we got some texture lights over in this area, which are kind of set up to uh, do some different colors as well. Yeah, very very cool. Um, so this is listed as a POI. Um, I don't think I kind of looked at that a little bit when I spawned it in. There's nothing below this area, by the way. I, I uh, checked that as well, but I don't believe there's an interior. I think it's just uh, a point of interest. You know, it's uh, not one that you're going to run through and shoot up everything, uh, but it's just kind of like a big, big statue here. I'll go on the inside a little bit, but I think this is just. I don't believe there's any interior to it at all. So just got some. Uh, what it needs, like a couple of fuel tanks in there and whatnot to uh, keep it so it's powered up and the uh, LCD or the uh, texture lights are glowing and everything like that. Um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I probably shouldn't have given that away. But yeah, there's some loot here though. So it's worthwhile checking out. That'd be interesting in game to get to that particular point. Uh, so you'd almost, yeah. Well, yeah, you'd have to do a little uh, maneuver operation with the uh, some kind of vehicle or something to get up there i think i don't think a player is going to be able to scale this thing uh with a jetpack uh, even if you have the best uh, the best uh jetpack boosting parts in the game this thing's pretty pretty tall didn't mean to actually give away a little secret there though i uh wasn't really looking for that i didn't think it had any but it does and which is really cool i like the light up here too kind of lighten up the helmet area of the uh creation yeah, really, really cool block work going on there. Uh, nice looking, uh, nice looking, uh, like, armed statue or high-tech warrior. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it, it looks really cool. And, of course, the, uh, the sword is basically saying the same name of the, uh, creation as well, the Guardian Knight here. And that, uh, nice, nice touch. So, yeah, very cool. I don't think, uh, we should, we don't really need to look at specs on this one. It's not about that. So uh, it's not going to have storage or, uh, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. It's a, it's a POI. So, yeah, very, very cool creation here. Again, uh, this is the Guardian Knight by Guardian Dalla Via 2 is the author name on this. Uh, very, very cool. Super awesome block work, definitely. And other than that, that is, uh, that is all the creations this week. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, amazing, uh, amazing stuff by everybody again. I like, love to see these, uh, all kinds of different takes on different uh, creations and, st and building styles and colors and types of creations and different functions, uh, stuff like that. It's a, it's a really nice to see the uh, variety and everything like that and uh, all the, uh, the detail and uh, time and effort that go into building all these by so many different authors out there. So, again, uh, you all have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.